Here at Mount Airlie, Kate and Scott have taken on a huge project, but in this kind of grand manor house, it's actually the small little details that I love. So I want to show you some. In the Victorian period, things like the little cherub here make a reappearance uh, all throughout the house. It's a motif which talks about love, uh, which talks about harmony and all those kinds of really great virtues. And the cherub actually makes not one, not two, not three, but four appearances that I'm aware of in the house already. It starts here in the formal garden, but this is not the last one. It's such a grand house, the thing you probably don't realise is actually it's working on you as well. These stairs, for example, these are slow stairs. So as you come up a very long tread and a very short riser, you actually find you're slowing your pace. And this is creating a formal, ceremonial, welcoming pace that the house is all about. So next time you walk into a house, ask yourself, what's the house doing to me? Inside. Cherub's number two, up on the gasolier. This is the original gasolier and it's been turned into electric, of course. It's been electrified. But look at the cherubs around the decoration. Now, the cherubs sort of symbolise a whole lot of things from Greek mythology and Roman mythology. These are actually called puti in Italian and in the Roman times. Each one of them has a little virtue, a book, a lute, something like that. But really, it was all about establishing and symbolising wealth and prestige. I'm in love with this staircase. There's so much about it that I could talk about, but the one thing you're going to miss, unless you're really looking for it, are these balusters right here. Look how hidden that is. That's actually a cast iron baluster or a metal baluster that's been turned to look exactly the same as the timber. That's about once every nine balusters, there's a metal piece in there. It's so well hidden and it's so expertly done, and of course, that's for structural reasons. So again, if you weren't looking for it, it's the kind of thing you'd walk right past. Another little mod con that you wouldn't know look to look for unless you were told about it is right down here. Underneath here, these little draft excluders actually drop down as the door opens. That's a modern feature that comes from apartment buildings where they use those for fire checks and smoke exclusion tactics. But Scott's been very clever and putting them in this old house. There's nothing worse in an old house than a drafty old house. Back out past the big beauty spot, <laughs> into the garden. And this is where we meet our cherub number three. Scott seems to spend an enormous amount of time looking for fancy little Victorian types of details. And here he found a great little one. These little things down here are called shutter dogs. These basically just hold the shutter in place and look at what is happening on the front there. There's our last cherub just looking at us at the very back of the garden, finishing off the house. It's a really nice little touch that Scott's found to put in here and match up with this old window that's going to be restored. So you see, the thing to remember is that even in a huge house like this one, it really is the little details that we touch, that we see, that personalise it for us, that make all the difference.